We are gonna solve Amy 2012 American Intentional Mathematics Examination. Problem number nine, it says X and Y are real numbers. Sine X over sine Y equal to three cos X over cos Y equal to one half. Sine two X over sine two Y plus cos two X over cos two Y equal to P plus Q. In lowest term, P plus Q is what? Before solving the problems, I should tell you some identities that are useful. The first identity that is useful is what? It's obvious. You can use, if you know these basic rules, you can use time codes in the description to go straight forward to the problem. Sine squared x plus cos squared x equal to 1. The next one is what? Sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. And third one is what? Cos 2x equal to cos squared x minus sine squared x. Or you can replace sine squared x like here with 1 minus cos squared x. If you replace, it will be 2 cos squared x minus 1. You should memorize these three formulas for solving this problem. And I want to solve this problem with two solutions. So let's start before starting to solve the problem. Thanks for subscribing and like my videos. Okay, if we multiply these two terms, these two equality together, then we have what? We have sine x, sine cos x. Here, sine x cos x over sine y cos y equal to what 3 over 2 and if i multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 it has no effect and if you use the formula i said sine 2x is what 2 sine x cos x so sine 2y is 2 sine y cos y so numerator will be sine 2x and denominator will be sine 2y equal to 3 over 2. So we found the first part. Sine 2x over sine 2y is 3 over 2. Now we want to focus on finding the second part. So it will be 3 over 2 plus cos 2x. I said it is equal to what? Cos squared x minus sine squared x. So I say cos squared x minus sine squared x all over cos 2y similarly will be cos squared y minus sine squared y okay we know from this part cos x is let me write cos x is if you multiply both sides by cos y cos y over 2 and from this one sine x equal to 3 sine y so if I replace, it will be 3 over 2. Cos x is this. So cos squared x is cos squared y over 4 minus minus sine squared x is 9 sine squared y. And it will be what? It will be cos squared y minus sine squared y. So we should focus on finding cos squared y and sine squared y. So let's see what can we say. We know sine x is 3 sine y, so we know sine x sine squared x plus cos squared x is 1. And sine squared x is what? 9 sine squared y. And cos squared x is what? Plus cos squared y over 4. I replace cos x with this, cos y over 2 squared. So, you can conclude what? If you multiply both sides by 4, 4 equal to 36 sine squared y plus cos squared y. I can say it is equal to 35 sine squared y. 36 will be 35 plus 1 sine squared y plus cos squared y. Sine squared y plus cos squared y is 1. So, we can say what? We can subtract 1 from both sides. It will be 3 equal to 35 sine squared y. So we can conclude sine squared y equal to 3 over 35. So as you can see, cos squared y is what? Is 1 minus, because I said 
sine squared x plus cos squared x is 1. So cos squared y plus sine squared y is 1, some of them. So if you write 35, it should be 32, such that 32 plus 3, 35. And now we can replace here. The answer is what? Is 3 over 2 plus cos squared y over 4. Cos squared y over 4. This one over 4 will be 32 over 4, 8. It will be 8 over 35 minus 9 sine squared y. 9 times this will be 27 over 35 all over cos squared y minus sine squared y. Cos squared y is 32 over 35 minus sine squared y is what? 3 over 35 minus 3 over 35. So it will be 3 over 2 plus 8 minus 27 will be negative what? Negative 19 over 35. And the denominator 32 minus 3 will be 29 over 35. 35, 35 will be cancelled. It will be 3 over 2 minus 19 over 29. And if you use common denominator, it will be 58. 29 times 3 will be 3 times 9, 27, 2. 3 times 2, 6 plus 2, 8. Minus 2 times 19, which will be minus 38. Now, here it will be what? It will be 58. 17 minus 8 will be 9. 7 minus 3, 4. So now it is in lowest term. And it is P over Q. The problem says find P plus Q is what? So it is 49 plus 58, which will be 8 plus 9, 17. 1, 1 plus 4, 5 plus 5, 10. So the answer is 107. Now, let's solve it with second solution. And there are around some important ideas. These were uh, basic ideas. If you want to learn all the ideas, uh, around 40 important ideas in each topic, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Okay, some parts of second solution is same with first solution. Again, for the first part, we do the same thing. For second part, it's second solution is different from first solution. Again, I multiply these two fractions. It will be sine x times cos x over sine y times cos y equal to 3 over 2. And I said I multiply numerator and denominator by 2. And in the beginning of the video, I told you some formulas. 2 sine x cos x will be sine 2x. 2 sine y cos y will be sine 2y equal to 3 over 2. So again, we've reached first fraction is 3 over 2. Now I say 3 over 2 plus cos 2x. I can write it like what? 2 cos squared x minus 1. 2 cos squared y minus 1. How in the beginning of the video I told you here. Cos 2x is 2 cos squared x minus 1. I want to use this. Now... I say what? I say, okay, consider it is A, consider it is B. So it is 3 over 2 plus 2A minus 1 over 2B minus 1. I want to find what? A and B. So what are what are the things we can say? I know, for example, sine, because I want to relate to X and Y. So I know what? Sine X, sine Y. But here, cos X, cos Y. So I raise it to power of 2. It will be sine squared x over sine squared y equal to what? Sine x over sine y is 3. If you raise to the power of 2, it will be 3 squared, which will be 9. And we know what? We know sine squared from the beginning of the video. I said sine squared x plus cos squared x equal to 1. So I can replace sine squared x with 1 minus cos squared x. And this one, 1 minus cos squared y. How I written this? Because in the beginning of the video, I said that sine squared x plus cos squared x1. It is one of the most basic formula in trigonometry. And you can prove it by Pythagorean theorem. So here, I said cos squared x is a. So 1 minus a cos squared y is this 1 minus b. So we conclude what if we cross multiply. 
9 minus 9b equal to 1 minus a. So the first equation, and if you simplify, you can say 8 equal to 9b minus a. Take 1 to left hand side, 9 minus 1, 8, negative 9b to right hand side. It is the first thing that we need. And what else we can say? We have cos x cos y because it is cos squared x. Again, you raise it to power of 2 cos squared x over cos squared y equal to what cos x over cos y is 1 over 2. If you raise to the power of 2, 1 squared, 1 over 2 squared. It will be 1 over 4. We said cos squared x is what? It's a, it is b. So I can say what? I can say b equal to 4a. Now, if I replace b over 4a, let me call star here and use this. 8 equal to 9b, which is 9 times 4a, minus a, which will be 36a, minus a, which will be 35a. So, a will be what? a will be 8 over 35. And b will be what? b is 4 times a. 4 times 8, 32 over 35. So, we found a and b. And now, we can find the answer. Why? Because the answer is this. We should calculate this. Replace A and B with the things we've reached. So it will be 3 over 2 plus 2 times A, 2 times 8 over 35 minus 1 over 2 times B, which will be 32 over what? 35 minus 1. So let's simplify. It will be 3 over 2 plus 2 times 8, 16. 16 over 35 minus 1 all over 2 times 32 64 over 35 minus 1 and then it will be 3 over 2 plus if i use common denominator it will be 35 16 minus 35 and the denominator will be 35 64 minus 35 and then if we calculate each fraction 16 minus 35 is what calculate you can say it is negative your denominator is 35 35 minus 16 because i placed negative here 15 minus 6 is 9 then 2 minus 1 is 1 let's calculate denominator it will be 35 64 minus 35, 14 minus 5, 9, 5 minus 3, 2. We can cancel 35 and 35. So let's see what we have now. It will be 3 over 2 minus, because of this, 19 over 29. And then if you write, it will be common denominator 2 times 29, 58. 3 times 29, 3 times 9, 27. We have 2, 3 times 2, 6 plus 2, 8. Minus 2 times 19, 38. So if I calculate 58, 17 minus 8, 9. And 7 minus 3, 4. So the problem says if it is in lowest term, P over Q, it is in lowest term because it is 2 times 29, 58, and 49 is 7 squared. Then the problem says p plus q is what? It is 49 plus 58, which will be 8 plus 9, 17. We have 1, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 1, 10. So again, we've reached 107. We solved this problem with two solutions. As I said before, there are around 40 important ideas in each topic, algebra, number theory, geometry, and combinatorics. If you had any question, Feel free about the important ideas, 40 important ideas. Feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. And also thanks for subscribing. I like my videos and thanks for watching this video.